Tommy Gunn, Tommy McMillan, two very good fighters. A golden opportunity here for Arizona to take an almost insurmountable lead over California. And for Campagna, he's got a tall task in front of him and a whole team that really needs him to come up with a win here. Both fighters are solid. Both fighters come forward. Both are extremely Most tough for tonight, Jim. Featherweight matchup between Southern California's Daniel Campagna and Tommy Gunn, Tommy McMillan of Team Arizona, 5'9 for Campagna, six feet for McMillan. A reach advantage oh, for McMillan as well, violently throwing Campagna to the ground. And you could hear that wood underneath the mat on the cage just rattle. And that was head against wood right there. Yeah, now a little bit of a scramble. Looks like he's full mounted. McMillan right there up against. John Crouch very excited about him, had a great camp. Eight weeks long, a very exciting fighter. Brings it with no quit, all about a very quick pace. And he said about his opponent, I hope he trained hard. He's going to need it. Meanwhile, Campagna has been training for five years, fighting for three. And he loves competing. He's healthy. He's strong. Pretty good fighter on the ground as well for the Southern California Kraken Tour. In trouble here tonight, down 12 to 3. And if they lose this one, there's no chance they can win here tonight. Nice position right there in the north south position. You know, creeping into side mount right there. Campania's in a bad position, but it seems like McMillan on top has good control, nice heavy hips, you know, just high level. Come with that knee across the across the belly and looking to get side mount on the other side. Probably going back into that full mount position right into it. Not even trying to get that leg from bottom was Campania. Now posturing up and throwing bombs from the top is Tommy Gunn. We settle. You can see how he's just keeping his hips real low. That was a nice effort, nice bridge there by Campania. But his McMillan's hips are just too heavy. He's going to try to push off the fence here and create a scramble like he did before. Not bad work at all by Campania to try to escape. Tommy McMillan, who has dominated round number one here so far in this featherweight matchup, looking to clinch it for Arizona and move them on to the next round. Oh, yeah, Campania scrappy down there on the bottom. You know, looking to kind of create scrambles, look for submissions, or leave, even get to his feet. Some good shots landing, though, from McMillan with that left hand. Just nice, solid control by McMillan. You know, he's had that, has that body lock all the way across the body. If he can go ahead and grab that hand, which I think he's looking to do underneath there, he has complete control. Campania's not going to want to give up that back Just to McMillan. Fighting out of the MMA lab. Two of his teammates have already lost by submission tonight. He's taking a lot of shots from McMillan with that left hand. Now Campania fighting to his feet with 10 seconds left in round number one. He's up, and he lands a couple of big shots of his own, and one more takedown for McMillan before the end of our opening round. What a round between two gamers in Campania and McMillan. We'll be back, back after the break. Round number two, David Campania, Tommy Gunn, Tommy McMillan, Southern California versus Arizona Elite Amateur Fight League. Western Division opening round matchup, 12 to three, Arizona with the lead, courtesy of two submissions by Marcus McGee and Brett Cooper after an opening fight win by Matt Padilla by split decision for California. Campania missing with a head kick. Got to be careful against McMillan, who can get in there quickly and do exactly that, which is take you down and beat you up like he did in round number one. And those were, that was a nice lead landed before he got taken down by Campania. But more of the same, you know, McMillan on top just, just has good control here. Campania went for that head kick and paid for it. <laughs> Third takedown of the fight for Tommy McMillan. So strong from top, and Campania won't let go of that leg. And now passing through is McMillan. Full mount again right from the top. And he's, a, and he's away from the fence where he can't push off and just create a scramble to get up. Right now he's in a bad spot. You know, hips low, all the way forward underneath the armpits. That way that bump, you know, you kind of eliminate that bump from being able to, to bump you over when you're high up, up in the shoulders. Here, outside. going for that side choke, locking up that side choke. It looks pretty deep. What he needs to do, he needs to sink down and get those hips down. He's, he's straight up there on his knees. So nice job by Campania to get out of that one. McMillan, very impressive transitioning on the ground here. Yeah, impressive. I mean, how many times has he gone to full mount? About four different times. 
Now he's got that back control. Let's see if he looks to get that body triangle in there. He's got that leg hooked in there nice and tight, maybe just a little bit high. Yeah, and he's got to watch his neck, does Campagna. Of course, that rear naked's always an option, but he's going to want to try to put McMillan on his back here. But McMillan's so strong, and he's got those long legs. Campagna doing everything he can, trying to turn and reverse this. Hit him with a couple shots there to the side of the face. It looks like he's got that choke. I'm not sure if he's got it underneath the neck. Nope. Oop. Nice transition back up there. You know, one hook in. It looks Sam to be just screaming. a little high. Ooh, back door. Campania came out the back door. Now he's on top. Sam Alvey, Alvey was screaming at him to turn into him and nice. go high, and he was able to reverse the position. Great job on the ground by Campania, just like in round number one. But now McMillan reverses and ends up back on top. Oh, man, he's right there. He's locked up a triangle. This is some good grappling on the amateur level. Campania exhausted with McMillan on top now. Campania just made one crucial mistake on top right there. He just did a little too much on top, ended up getting reversed, you know, and I mean, he ended up with that triangle, but now he's on his back. You know, Both some, these guys just 20 years old, Frankie. Sometimes you just want to, you know, you want to take that one move away. You do it at the end, it kind of costs you sometimes when you're looking to, when you're looking to advance the position, you just, just stayed there. 10 seconds left in the round. Campania reverses again. A couple of good shots toward the end of the round. We'll be back well, after the break. It's hard to have success. All heart from these guys. What bright futures they have at 20 years of age. Good shot with the left hand by Campania. McMillan right in on him again, looking for the takedown. Slips off his back. And an opportunity for Campania, who misses with a haymaker straight down the middle. And as McMillan comes in, he eats a little bit of a right. Campania tried for the takedown with that hip toss, but a good job by McMillan to take top position. Yeah, just not very high level going for that hip toss right there against the fence from the from the taller fighter. You know, it's hard to get him elevated, elevated to get to that position. And you just end up, you know, here in full mount. And this is not where Campania wants to be. Again, he's got to win this fight for Southern California to have a chance look to move on and face New Mexico. Arizona's been dominant. And look out, he's going to tap right there. Nice wow. side choke. That was so quick and beautiful work by Tommy McMillan to clinch it for Arizona. An incredible fight between these two. That came out of nowhere and it was over just like that. Just made it look effortless. Both fighters, just 20. I mentioned, Frankie, bright futures for these two guys. I mean, Campania's got really nothing to hang his head about here. Let's go up to the cage to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brad Frank has stopped our fight here in the third round at 49 seconds for your winner by tap out due to arm triangle. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, Tommy Gunn McMillan. So there you go, 